In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kotlin as well as the Spring Boot web framework to both send text messages from a Twilio phone number as well as receive and respond to incoming text messages to your Twilio phone number. For both of these things, we're going to need a phone number though, so let's go get one of those right now. We'll start in the phone number console where I'll search for a 215 area code phone number. I'll buy the first one I find, I'll buy it, and then we'll go into phone number setup. I'll talk about phone number setup later. First, let's talk about outbound SMS. Your application makes a post request to Twilio, and Twilio sends a text message. It's that simple. We'll start by creating a Kotlin Java project inside of IntelliJ. I'll give it a group ID of com.brentschooly. You can use whatever reverse URL syntax you want, and I'll name the project Kotlin SMS. I'll accept the defaults and click finish, and we'll head into the build.gradle file. The first thing we'll do in here is declare the version of the Spring Boot web framework we want to use. That's going to be 1.5.7 release, and then we'll add the Spring Boot Gradle plugin to our build script dependencies. Next, we'll apply that same Spring Boot Gradle plugin to our build.gradle file, and then we'll come down into dependencies and pull in the Spring Boot Web Framework's web starter dependency. And finally, we'll pull in the Twilio helper library SDK. We're going to pull in version 7. Import the changes to the build file, and we'll be ready to create our application. Create a new Kotlin class called app.kt. We're going to start with a package declaration. That's going to be com dot whatever you picked for your reverse notation and Kotlin SMS. Next, we'll import Spring application and Spring Boot application from Spring and declare a basic Spring application. Create another class. This one's going to be smscontroller.kt. This is going to hold our routes for our Spring application. Again, same package declaration. We'll import the request mapping and rest controller objects from Spring and declare a rest controller with an SMS controller class. We'll create a request mapping for our slash root route and create a function called hello spring boot that simply returns the string hello spring boot. We'll run our application and it's going to create a server on localhost port 8080. So if we hop over to our browser and go to localhost port 8080, we'll see what we expect the string hello spring boot. Awesome. Let's head back and stop our application before moving on. And we're going to pull in some objects out of the Twilio helper library. Namely, we need the Twilio REST client, message creator, and phone number objects for our outbound SMS part. So we'll create a new re request mapping for send message. We'll create a Twilio REST client builder. And that's going to take some credentials from our Twilio account. I'm going to get them out of my environment variables. We need the account SID and auth token. You can find those in the Twilio console. And then we'll build the Twilio REST client. Next, we'll create a message. This is going to take a couple phone numbers. The first one's the two phone number. I'm going to get my phone number out of a system environment variable called my phone number. And then the second phone number is going to be that one that we bought earlier in the Twilio console, that 215 number. The third parameter is the body for the text message. And we'll just say SMS and Kotlin is easy, right? And then we'll create the message passing in the client. If we run the application, head over to the browser, and go to localhost port 8080, a text message will appear on my phone. Now let's talk about inbound SMS. A user sends a text message to your Twilio phone number. Twilio makes an HTTP request to your app, and your app returns some instructions in the form of something called Twimmel. If the Twimmel looks like this, then Twilio sends a text message back to the user's phone. Let's write the code to make that happen. Back in smscontroller.kt, we'll bring in some more objects from the Twilio helper library, namely the body, message, and messaging response objects from twilio.twimmel. We'll create a new request mapping for the slash reply message endpoint that Twilio will reach out to when an incoming text message comes in. This is going to return text slash XML since Twimmel is just XML. Inside the reply message function, we'll create a message using the message builder, and the body for the message will be thanks for the message, and then we'll build it. And then we'll use that message to create a messaging response, passing in the message and building it and returning the XML representation of it. Now, if we run our application, our server will once again spin up on localhost port 8080. There's only one problem. Twilio won't be able to reach that. So we'll use ngrok to create an HTTP tunnel on port 8080. This will give us a publicly addressable URL that we can copy from here and take back over to our Twilio phone number. We're going to paste it into the a message comes in webhook and add slash reply message to it. 
Once the phone number is saved, I'll be able to take my phone back out and send a text message back to our Twilio number, and we'll get the thanks for the message response. That's really all there is to it, to send and receive text messages using Kotlin with Twilio. If you have any ideas for more videos we could make using Kotlin or Twilio, let us know down in the comments. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click or tap the Twilio logo on the bottom left to subscribe so you know when we make more. If you want to get the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. And if you want to watch another video, I picked one just for you. Until next time, I'm out of here.